Tense. Alright, so in this video, I'm going to be showing off GT Kid Goku, not the other one, not the red one from the Super 17 saga. That's what he comes under the title if you look at their, their character profile. But this is the first one that I'm going to be showing off, the Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 1 GT Goku. And he's actually a very good unit. Like, if you need a strong green unit when it comes to Key Blast, this is not a force to be reckoned with. Wait, no, he is a force to be reckoned with. Jesus Christ, but um, with his main ability and a special kill skill combined, like he's just gonna do the most dirt on any unit. Obviously, to some extent, the type advantage does matter. But in the second gameplay, you're gonna see I did loads of damage on G. I mean, I did loads of damage on Super Vegito, and Super Vegito is purple, and he's just just a, such a tank. So you know that for him to do a lot of damage on Super Vegito, I think I took out just under half of his health using GT Goku alone but his main ability it just tanks up his blast starts and it makes his cards come in faster and it makes his card cheaper for about I don't know the exact time I think it's about 20 seconds but I just feel like I should see him more in PvP because if you especially use him with Bardock Bardock who boost all these stats of Super Saiyans you're just going to do the most damage and it's just the best thing ever. Just seeing all those key blasts and nobody can do a thing about it. Like you can see here, I have a few. Look how much health I took down. Like I find that crazy. But I didn't even have 100 key there, all four cards. So I imagine my cards are coming in faster and I have 100 key and I have four key blasts. And there's going to be more cards coming in after those four big key blasts because I'm sidestepping the whole time. I'm just going to be destroying my opponent. But um... I also got Bardock there, I explained why I have Bardock, but I just carried Vegio because you know Vegio with the switch in, but GT Goku specifically, he's not very good on defense, pardon me, but um, with the defense, if he gets hit, he's going to take those hits, he's kind of like hit, very fragile, but obviously he's weaker than hit, but depending on how you play, if you're one of them ones that like to attack in and do the most damage, not play defensive, for me, I feel like I sometimes play defensive, especially if it's for a video, because I'm scared, like, oh, I'm showcasing this person, but I don't want him to die. If you're more on the attacking side, then you're going to enjoy using him, especially if you haven't thought to use him already. But you're not going to really see him much, because the way this matter is, um, you really much just stick to Son Family. Um, Lineage of Evil is coming up. Region should be up, but I don't know if Region, like, Region just keeps getting destroyed because Super Vegito is just going to be overpowered forever until like another godlike yellow comes out or I don't know maybe someone's just more popular than him but yeah besides that I advise you use him even if it's just for fun test him out on a, on a Super Saiyan team or a Saiyan team he's a good unit like crits all day coming out of Bardock even without him with his main ability and uh, special skill the crit is the crits are amazing but um hopefully you enjoyed this video i've got a second gameplay for you you can watch that besides from that subscribe if you haven't on the, i'm on the road for 500 subscribers i'm gonna be uploading every day pretty much that's what i'm trying to do i think i've gone five days now yeah five days actually just over five days mine is my birthday but besides that i'll see you in the next one Enjoy the gameplay. Leave this to me. You take that. Take that. Take that. So you are just.